Good afternoon, um, Stampers. It is Tammy with Stamp and Scrap Tammy with a finally Friday share and show um, chat. So welcome. This is, I think, our first official one. Um, but I was looking ahead. I'm not sure if I'll do one next week already. So remember, I was trying to find a consistent day. And I really wanted it to be on Friday. Because um, normally, in the past, my schedule's pretty opened up on Fridays. But then the last, last week, we had that awesome garage sale. And then the week before, I was out of town. And now next week, we'll see what's going to happen. Wednesday, we'll have our regular Facebook Live at 11 with projects. And then it's World Card Making Day. So that's going to be on Saturday. Let's see. It will be October 3rd. And I have a virtual party plan for that day. I'd have to look back on my times. But I think it's 11, um, 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. Central is when I will be doing some Facebook Lives in my virtual party group like we've done before. There'll be a great order special. I'll share lots of projects and fun next Saturday. So maybe on Friday, I'll just come in with a quick update on, on um, and give a sneak peek of what we're going to do. So the idea of today is I'm just going to kind of like a show and tell. I'm going to show you kind of what I've been up to. I have some cool stuff to show. But I mean, really, it's kind of funny. I had projects in mind that I wanted to share with you and I lost them. I have no idea where they are. Like I had a little basket. But I found some ones that I don't think I've shared before. So if it's a repeat, I apologize if I've already shared um, some of these projects with you. But I don't know what happened to my, my basket. Or maybe I actually mailed them all out. I don't know. They are just, they absconded. They're gone. But anyways, moving on. I have a couple cool things that are non-card related to share with you. Because I, I just love logo things. So if you want to check out this, look at this new um, I'm using it for water. It came with a metal straw, or you could use it for coffee. But isn't this so fun? So this is a demonstrator exclusive that we can order. Logo items. I love logo items. And then also check this out. This is so fun. Now the case I ordered on Amazon. So anybody could do this. If you order a clear case, you can put designer series paper in. So my phone obviously is not in right now in here because it's on my holder, which I have to take out of the case anyways to put in my holder. And then look at this. I got one of those little pop-up things. I just got this yesterday. I think it's just so cute and then it goes with the paper. And most of you know, I'm just like crazy about my stamping up. So if you want to take advantage of that starter kit special right now, you could get some logo items too after you get your order in. Um, but anyways, I just thought that was pretty fun. And I just love water glasses and things like that. I'm, I'm using it for water instead of coffee, encouraging myself to drink more water something that I struggle with. All right, so those are the couple things I was going to show. I'll um, scoot it down and we'll get to showing some stuff. So good afternoon, everybody, or morning, wherever you are. Um, so make sure to say hello. We will do a little prize giveaway too, just like always. So make sure to check in that you are here. And, you know, maybe you're watching the replay too, so check in on the replay. Oh, I have one more really fun logo thing that I got this week. I think it's been available for a while. I just didn't order it until now. Oh, look at this. I got all kinds of stuff here. So this stuff is, the, the ugh, excuse me. These are the projects I share. These are the projects. I cannot talk till it's Friday. All right. These are the ones that I shared on Wednesday. So I'm going to give you one more glimpse of those. I did reopen up ordering for this kit, which, oh my goodness, after you guys saw all the projects as a whole, I think I got 10 orders yesterday. So there will be a full tutorial sent. Excuse me. Let me get that a little straight. There'll be a full tutorial sent out next week for these, as well as the project kits that were ordered. So it is, I had to make up another one of these. I only had one the other day, so I made up one more. Um, so you'll get card setups, all of the cut supplies. The only thing that won't be done is the stamping. So you can insert whatever stamp you would like on there if you do not have the ones that I used. And so it'll be two of these, two of each one of them. And then these cards here. And if you would like this, you can message me to order or I'll share the link when I update this um, post here and you can just follow the link. Ordering is open until Sunday. You can add on the stamp set in the bundle for free shipping uh, on that end, the shipping and tax I pay. So it's just what the catalog price is to add on the um, bundle for this. But you could easily stamp it in something that you maybe already have. And then also to this one, I just have one made up. And so that's not all that's included in the kit. 
Also included in the kit, I'm not gonna take all this out, is a half a package of designer series paper, a full sheet of the black glimmer, a half of um, package of the iridescent dots, half a package of ribbon, and then here's the card supply. So this is how this gets mailed to you. It is definitely able to ship. It's $35 shipped or $28 if you're able to pick up. So let's get to some more sharing and showing. Oh, this is a little show that I wanted to. So this is what's been around, I think, for a while. But I just ordered it. Isn't that fun? Just the, all of our new ink colors. It made me really want to get creative last night with my new paper here. But I didn't get it dirty. So I got a whole package of that. So that's a demonstrator exclusive. But customers might be able to order this too. I'm not sure. I'd have to look it up. And then one other thing, totally not stamp related, that I wanted to share. Because I had, I saw in one of the comments last week, somebody asked about my nail polish. I can't believe it. I had two people message me and tell me they liked my nail polish over the last week. I Not this color that I have on today. I have to work tonight at the steak place that I work at. Um, so I kept it a little more subtle today. Not that I couldn't wear the brighter stuff. But people asked me the color of my nail polish the other day. So I thought I would share that with you in our little share and show today. So it is. it was from Walmart. And it was super cheap. It was like $3 or something. It's LA Colors Gel Like. Gel so it's not actual gel, but it's gel like. So it stays on for quite a few few days. I did have to put three coats on. And I don't know, the, the color is called Chill Out. That's kind of a funny name. But to me, it's like Coastal Cabana, which is my like all-time favorite color. So anyways, I just thought I'd share with that since a few of you guys asked. I thought that was kind of cute. Um, all right, and so let's see, what else should we show today? You know, yeah, let's go into some projects. Or not projects, I'm not gonna actually show how to make a project. This is what I'm working on currently. This is what's coming up next. So as soon as I get that... Halloween Magic in This Night kit out, we are moving into Blossoms in Bloom. So birthday card classes on Monday. I'll share you, show with you, show with you, goodness. Share with you the projects next Wednesday. That'll be one of our projects on Wednesday is one of the cards that I make at class. I don't even have the card designs yet, but I know I'm gonna use these. I'm gonna use this glimmer paper for sure. So if you wanna come live on Monday to birthday club class, this is, you know, kind of something we're going to be using. Something like that. I don't know yet. I'm going to create something pretty cool with it, though. So that's the Blossoms in Bloom class. So if you're willing to take a chance, you can get signed up for that now. Um, again, it's called the Birthday Club class. Everyone is welcome to join it. Um, or if you are not quite so adventurous and you want to wait to see the projects, I will show those next Wednesday. And then this is going to... I'm going to do something with this card, too. This is not my design. I wanted to share with you today. This one, it's very pretty. So this will be just the stamping. And this this original card was from BJ Peters. And so I'm going to take her design and, and work with that, work it in somehow. Maybe switch the colors. I'm not sure. But I just really like that. Nice, simple, sweet card. So that'll be something like this will be part of Blossoms and Bloom on Monday. All right. Before I show any more cards, I thought I would share as well. The paper pumpkin this month. I haven't even opened this yet. So if you watched on Wednesday, you saw Brody bring the, ooh, look at my little bats are flying all over the place. You can tell what I've been working on. All right, so paper pumpkin. If you have not done paper pumpkin, this will be a good opportunity to take a look at what it's all about. Now, every month is a little bit different. I should grab last month's too. Okay, so this was last month's, it's, and I do have both of these still available, so if you see these and you'd like them, just message me, and I can always send you an invoice, and I can get it mailed to you. Um, so August 2020, it was called World's Greatest, and so this is what it's all about. Every month is just a little bit different, or just a little bit, it's a lot bit different. So the month to month are completely different. Nice thing about it is these are very good for all levels of stamping. So if you are a beginner, this is a phenomenal opportunity to build some of your stamp collection. And you know, if you go throughout a few months, you're going to get different occasions. So this one particular one, it was called World's Greatest. Um, and so, you know, it kind of went on the, you're the best, you know, to a teacher, a friend, a coach, something like that. But you could, you know, do whatever you wanted with them. And I don't have this particular one open. So here's just an idea of what that's all about. So it's a card kit, basically. So this one came with cards and all the supplies to create. And it also comes with the ink spot and the stamp set. And looks like we got some ribbon here too. 
And so that's what that month was about. So again, if you like this one and you'd like it, um, just message me. I will sell the ones that I have on hand for $20 each and, um, and then um, shipping if needed to ship to you. And then, so this is the current one, just came in the mail yesterday, so I have not opened it yet. Oh, looks like they're gonna give us a sneak peek of the next one. So ordering is available for the next kit. So they we can order until the 10th of the month and then um, it gets shipped out after that. So this one just came to me. So it looks like it's gonna be something to do with Christmas. Uh, that looks cool, but let's go into the current one. So this is a nice one. It's with um, Cajun Craze Ink. So a little ink spot. So if you're just building up your collection, these are great um, ink spots to have. Uh, and then you can try out some colors before you buy the full one. Yeah, so hello pumpkin, give thanks, trick or treat. And you know, usually around holidays, sometimes we get a little treat packaging. So I think that's what this is. Oh, super cute. So yes, if you were gonna be giving some treat packaging, this would be great, but you could really easily make this into some cards too. I'm gonna to probably have to make this one up and do some alternative projects. So if anyone is interested in this kit, I do have it available. I have a few of them. I would be willing to part with a couple of them. All right, so I usually use the Halloween one when they send a treat one like that, and my kids will do those up for um, treats for school. I'm gonna put this down just a little bit more and share with you a few cards now that I've made, or no, I haven't made these couple of them I did that my friends have made. So again, I'm hoping that I'm not showing too many repeats because like I said, the ones I was going to share, I, I totally lost the basket. So here we go. So I'm going to look and see if anybody is actually watching. Looks like a couple people are, but it's not showing me any comments. And I know a few of you commented, so that's weird. Maybe if I say I'm going to comment. I don't know. Anyways, I hope that um, those that are watching are... So this is always so darn strange. I said that the other day. Anyways, we'll move on. All right, so this beautiful card. Isn't this paper so pretty? Nice and bright. I love it. So this one I got last week in our card swap from our team. And those are really the ones I wanted to share, and I don't even have them all here. I don't know what happened to them. Again, so this is from Heather Fisher. She is from Hutchinson, so a beautiful card that she made. Nice coloring, just a good combination. Coordinates so well with that ribbon. And then this card here, I should have taken these out. This is a remake, so Gail gave me this card. Oh, it says that she's watching. That just popped up. So Gail, this is a card that we remade. I don't remember who the original was, but she gave me a couple copies of this or different um, cards of this. This was a fun fold. I love how she did the nose there. She looks like she probably used, let me see if I have it. Yeah, I have some right here. The shimmer crystal effects probably on that nose just to make it a little bit shiny. She colored it in and then put that over the top. Or maybe it's even a gem. Maybe it's a gem. All right, so... Oh yeah, now I see the comments. Goodness, here, here I thought I was just talking to a room by myself, which that wouldn't be uncommon. I, well, I don't actually do that, but I mean, I could. I could sit and stamp, talk stamping by myself in a room probably for, for days. Okay, look at this. Isn't this fun? So again, this was a remake from one that we cased. I don't remember who the original was. <laughs> That's just so happy there. Look at that. Isn't that so cute? I love it, love it, love it, love it. So thank you, Gail, for sharing that card with me that you created. Um, and you know, and part of it, I was look some of the other ones I was looking for today, I was sitting at my computer over at one of my tables, and I'm like, wait, I put them up on my display board. So I switched my display board in my craft room. I had all annual catalog cards up there, and I switched it now to all of the fall, winter mini. And so here's another really cute Halloween card. And this is from Kathleen Chap Champman from Duluth. It's just a nice, gets the different elements in there. And this is from Lisa Cobbler, or case from Lisa Cobbler, Amy Nosch. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. So some of these I think are repeats, but maybe you're seeing them for the first time if you didn't see one of our other Sharon shows. Again, maybe I'll find that basket of cards that I'm missing. 
that I was going to share. But again, maybe I even mailed them out. I've been mailing out so many cards that it's possible that I just mailed out the ones that I thought. So right now when you do place a $50 order, you get 10 free greeting cards. And so I do try to pull. So like if you would order this stamp set or bundle, I would send you this card so that you'd have a sample to look at. And of course, that's just while my supplies last of what I have. And this one is Lisa Miltakis, which I just talked to Lisa the other day. We had a little, um, I guess, kind of a business meeting between some demonstrator friends of mine for a project we're working on. Here we go. And this one is really pretty. I love this set. And, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sneak ahead and share something else from this set. Now, I probably shouldn't even do this, so um, Barb Fisher in my downline already gave me her swap cards that she's using for the next two months. Our team does the card swap between our team and another team, Amy Rich, out of New Ulm. So we collaborate together. And so Barb already is like working way ahead and she gave me her cards. So I'm like sharing these before she even swapped them. So I hope Barb doesn't mind. So this was also a kind of a case from another one that I had showed from somebody and she just made it her own and switched out the colors. Isn't that pretty? And then she has one more using that suite as well. I love these. And you know, this one was not on my radar to order, but it certainly is now. And then here's another one. Look at that balmy blue on there. Isn't that just beautiful? And then she has the inside done as well. So now I need to, usually I just kind of let things set on my desk while I'm doing these, but I need to put these away because I'm kind of like sneaking these out before I should. But I don't think she'll mind. So sneak peek, haven't even swapped them yet. Okay, and then this is really pretty. I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna use this card um, this week for, or this coming week for my cards and coffee class. I just, I love that combination. And this is, um, I don't have a name on that. So if this is your card, I love it. It's beautiful. I would love to know whose it is, if somebody would like to claim it. And then this is a beautiful card from Mary Kylie. She's in my Uplines group. So that's why I participated in their card swap. And so I know this one came from there, and so did this one. Um, Lisa Miltakis's probably did too. And so I'm just missing some of them. It's just puzzling to me. Okay, you guys are probably sick of hearing me do that. Okay, and then this card we did use for my card, Express card class last week. Again, it's using this set, if you see here. So another way to show that, it's really pretty. And then this one I used for last month's um, autumn class. Just a really pretty com color combination. And one more to show, which I have showed before, but since we're moving into Halloween, and actually after this week, I will probably most likely be moving more into um, Christmas and just some all occasion stuff. Of course, that Blossoms and Bloom is just an all occasion, you know, birthday club class. That'll just be really bright and fun and cheerful. Um, but then after that, I'll probably be kind of moving on from Halloween into um, maybe a little bit of Thanksgiving and Christmas then after that. And then, of course, stick with all occasions. So isn't this one pretty? So this was another one from Gail that I think I touched on before, but I thought I'd give you another closer look at that. All right, so those are today's cards. I have just one more thing to share as long as we are here. Um, I'm going to share with you this one more time. So I shared all those logo items. Um, talked a little bit about our Cafe Crafter group, and I do not want anyone to miss out on the invite and the opportunity to join our Cafe Crafter group. And this special ends next Wednesday. So if you have a wish list that is um, over $100, uh, absolutely think about taking advantage of the Happy Shopper Cafe Crafter opportunity. So you can purchase the Stampin' Up! Starter Kit right now. There is no further obligation to you. And then you get these two stamp sets. You get the card setups. Again, I keep talking about this, but I don't want anyone to miss this opportunity. So you get the card setups for 16 cards. I made these up in a live a couple weeks ago. So all the supplies are cut and ready to go, just like a card kit I would send. And then this is another one that I made using that set. And there's a bunch of other really sweet cards out there. 
with these sets. So these, this stuff is all free. This just automatically comes to you. They're also going to send you a code where you can get one of these paper pumpkin kits. So it wouldn't be this one. It would be one from the next couple of months and some gems. And then you pick out any $125 in product that you would like. So all your choice, okay? So it can be anything that you would like, and you only pay $99 for all of this. The shipping is free, and you just pay your sales tax. So it comes to just a little over $100, and then you get to have a 20% discount for at least three months. Again, there's no further obligation to make any purchases after that initial kit. Now, if, if you'd like to, there's a great opportunity. You can be involved with our Cafe Crafter group as little or as much as you would like. Again, I talked, we do some card swaps. We do all kinds of fun things in that group. Um, lots of sharing. Lot, I collaborate with lots of different groups of demonstrators um, to bring the best opportunities to all of you. All right, everybody. So I think that's all I'm going to share with you today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will be sharing um, again next week. You know, I will just jump on on Friday. Sure, it might be just real quick since we do have World Card Making Day on Saturday. But I'll just jump on, maybe say hello, invite you to join that um, group if you missed out on any of the links. I'll be sharing links for that um, now that we have, um, we're within a week away. I'll just bring these in real quick. One last look at today's cards that I shared. Again, I'll keep looking for those ones I thought I was going to share today. And if any of you want to send a card for me to share in the video, feel free to do that. I always love receiving random cards. It's better than getting a, a bill, and then I can send you one back. So look at this screen of beautiful, beautiful cards. Look at all that creativity. Oh, I have just a few more. So see, I could just go on and on and on. And then let's share the Halloween ones too. That, oh, let's go the right way. Again, this kit is available to order only through Sunday. After Sunday, we will not be able to order this kit anymore. Isn't that pretty? Oh, just such a pile of goodness right there. Okay, everybody, I will end it there. You guys all have a wonderful weekend. I will be back, let's see, live. It will be September 30th at 11 a.m. Central. And then we'll do this again next Friday for a quick video, one o'clock for a share and show next Friday, October 2nd. And then World Card Making Day on the 3rd. So lots going on this next week. Have a great weekend, everybody.